This video demonstrates how to perform a microscale distillation using a Hickman still head. The distillation apparatus includes a ring stand with one small clamp, a hot plate, an aluminum heating block, a clean and dry 5 milliliter conical vial with screw cap, boiling chips, a Hickman still head with a one hole septum and screw cap, and a digital thermometer. Place the aluminum block on top of the hot plate. Place the 5 milliliter conical vial in one of the openings of the aluminum block. At this point, add two or three boiling chips to the conical vial. Then add the reagents to the vial. In this particular case, the reagents are 2-methylcyclohexanol and phosphoric acid. Concentrated acids are corrosive. Always wash hands after use. Attach the Hickman still head to the conical valve and lightly tighten the screw cap that secures the junction. Place the one hole septum with Teflon coating side down against the glass and tighten the screw cap on top of the still head. Attach a digital thermometer to the top of the still head. Suspend the thermometer with a clamp in order to measure the temperature of the vapor rather than the liquid. Heat the reaction mixture to boiling. Note the temperature of the still head as you are collecting distillate. Keep the temperature of the distillation below 95 degrees Celsius. This mixture will need to be heated well in order for the distillate to reach the still head. You might need to set the hot plate to max to generate sufficient vapor. The material being collected will accumulate on the lip of the still head. Do not allow the distillation pot to run dry. This distillation is not quantitative. That means you won't collect all of the product that is made, just a sample of it. Turn off the heat and lift the whole apparatus from the aluminum block to let it cool off. Using a long-stemmed Pasteur pipette, transfer the liquid accumulated on the lip of the still head to a clean test tube. Add a small amount of anhydrous sodium sulfate and let it dry for two minutes. Carefully transfer the dried liquid into a clean test tube. 